and away they go. Our coys were slow to go when the starter said go. Crown Towers bounced out smartly is the early leader. Then there's three, four of them lining up. Cap and Pride, Shogun, Ballad of the Sea, and on the outside, Pratia Paradise. Cap and Pride is on the inside, then Mr. Winsome. Our coys is second to last, and Ancestry is the trailer. As they move towards that 1300 meter region, Ballad of the Sea is racing awkwardly at the rail. Crown Towers shows the way by two. Ballad of the Sea is back second, then Protea Paradise. On the inside of that one, Cap and Pride. Shogun is on the outside of runners. Mr. Winsome and Alcoys and Ancestry is the trailer. About eight or nine lengths off the leader. Past the thousand, Crown Towers a length and a half leader. Ballad of the Sea second. Cap and Pride at the panel third. And Protea Paradise is on the outside. Alcoys and Shogun team up together. Then Mr. Winsome and Ancestry is about nine or ten lengths off the leader. And Crown Towers shows them the way. Going to bring them into the stretch just over 600 meters to go. Protea Paradise has moved up on the outside of Ballad of the Sea. Shogun's on the move with Cap and Pride. Mr. Winsome and Alcoys and Ancestry's the trailer. Top of the lane and Crown Towers brings him into the stretch. Pratia Paradise, the first one to challenge. Ballad of the Sea is down the inside, then Cap and Pride. On the outside, Alcoys, and then comes Shogun. But Crown Towers still going with the lead by two, three lanes. Back in second position is Protea Paradise. Alcoys tries to close in. Shogun and Cap and Pride, but Crown Towers. Another top right from the front, and Crown Towers won it. Second, Alcoys. Third place, Shogun. Maybe Cap and Pride fourth. Number five, Crown Towers, the Camelot. Very happy stable, Justin Snaith, Nick Johnson, the late Mr. Jack Mitchell, Richard Fourier, another top ride from the front. I controlled the pace just as he did earlier in the feature, and this one is victorious. Win number two from seven, and comes Goodyear to win it. So number five pays up at 520 and 190. Alcoy second, Shogun third. Cap and Pride fourth, then Protea Paradise. Tote favourite was number eight, Alcoys. We'll take a look at that head on shortly. And Crown Towers continues to lead it and goes on to score and score well. And on the right hand side, Cap and Pride, Alcoys immediately behind the winner. And then Protea Paradise. That's the eighth until the ninth and last. As I tell you, it is on the poly. Back to the studio. the well-bred son of Camelot Crown Towers Australian import come through and he's shown his true worth on the track here this afternoon now during the week you were sweet and short you said the last run everything went wrong yes look he just over raced at the back of the field and uh, actually yesterday I was gonna scratch this horse uh, I looked at the field and I thought we were possibly the worst handicapped horse in the race we were a three-year-old one-time winner giving weight and we had coys that ran third in the sledge jam and I'm looking at this thinking so I phoned Nick and I said Nick look I think we must scratch her we, we want a positive race we want to bring him on he's been disappointing uh, and I'm just looking at this race and we're the worst handicapped horse in the race and we should scratch that and, and then I phoned Nick back a half an hour later. I said, you know what, the, the alternative is not much better. It's night racing poly 1400 uh, next uh, in two weeks time uh, on post merchants day. Uh, that's what I thought we'd rather go for. And, and then I, I said, no, you know what, let's just take our chances. The next is go for it, you know, <laughs> let's just go there, you know, look, just let him enjoy the race. And that's exactly what Richard did. He got to the front, didn't fight him too much. And uh, I think we saw something, you know, something we can build on. It was, it was a good run, and I just hope he just gets his head right. He's a little bit above himself. And uh, really well done to Nick and to Nancy and the whole family, uh, Mitchell family. Really well done. And uh, I just hope Nick didn't make too much noise in the wedding. He's at a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I got married, we were waiting for my wife, and my brother and I were watching Give Me the Green Light Run. It was quite funny. So <laughs> what we do in racing. <laughs> 
Now for the guys who missed this morning's show, Ladder Man, you mentioned Richard Perry is hungry. He's shown his versatility this afternoon with the front running tactics. He's been good support and you said he's a horse who's really working well. Yeah, look, he's doing very well at home. It's just a 12 draw. Uh, it's not easy uh, whether Richard drops him out or, or takes him up a little handy. We have to see. So as I said, just a draw. He's doing well uh, and we're hoping for a good run. Thanks for that, Justin. Great, thanks. Now, Richard Faree, the talking jockey this afternoon with the front-running tactics. You're not here just to go around the course here for business. Well, I could have tucked him in. I think it would have made no difference. Uh, Justin just had this horse cherry ripe. He looked good. He looked relaxed. Um, you know, he's been a head-scratching horse. He showed us good ability when he was he just started his career. And I thought he's not going to stop. You know, he's going to keep winning races and end up in group ones. And, you know, he's been a bit disappointing for me, but... He was a lot better today. Um, yeah, you know, he can only grow string from string. Maybe it was just the horses taking a bit longer to mature. And uh, the way he quickened was good enough for me. Um, further, I always thought 1,200 is his max. So um, just well done to the All Snow team. They did a great job. And to Mr. Mr. Johnson and his family. They're not here today, but uh, we had a good chat before races. And I was just going to do as I said. And they're winning. Well done. Thank you. Well, there you heard it. Nick Johnson at a wedding. They were just about to say, I do. And he started jumping in the air. So let's see what transpires after that. But well done to the connections. Well done to Nick Johnson's, the late Mr. Mitchell. Crown Towers, the son of Camelot, has shown his true worth today at Greyville.